extremely common. Um, and have any of you heard, you might have heard of a plant called um, um, golden seal, Hydrastus canadensis. You can actually use that instead of Hydrastus canadensis, which is one endangered and second extremely expensive. Plantain works just as well, it's absolutely fabulous. It's as a respiratory herb, completely sorts out mucous membranes of the upper respiratory tract, dries up secretions. You know in the winter if you're out and about and you're walking and you sometimes get that sort of runny, drippy nose, just because it's all cold out there. If you can find some plantain and eat a couple of leaves, within five to seven minutes, that's it, your nose will be dried up. It's completely magical. Really good plant to try, because it'll reaffirm your ideas that herbal medicine. Finca Major. Um, the one that we actually use more commonly than Finca Major is Finca Minor, which looks, I hope this is Finca Major. Is, yes. Which looks exactly like this, but is smaller. Um, and that is used as to increase blood flow to the brain. Um, Arctium lapper, we use the root of Arctium lapper, and it's um, used as a spring tonic mostly, but it also works on the liver and is used very commonly for the treatment of any sort of skin disease. Um, again, rather like the Vibascum thapsus that we looked at, it is a biannual plant. So in the first year it sends out basil rosetta flowers, of leaves rather, in the second year it sends up its flower spike. Because it's the root that we're using, and it's, it's a biannual plant, and once you see this flower spike with the burdocks, which is the telltale sign, are on it, its root is now defunct and no good because it's basically going to die. So you need to get it when it's got the basil rosettes in the autumn of its first year. Um, it's also a root that has quite a high volatile oil content to it. Um, and so one of the rules of thumb with most roots is that you can dry them at quite a high temperature. Burdock is one of the roots which you can't dry at a high temperature. Another root like that, which hopefully we'll come across, is um, Inula helenium, which is common name is Elecampane. And another root that you may have all heard of before, Valeriana officinalis. As well, they've all got very high volatile oil content to their roots. Um, okay, so known as wild lettuce, and it's very soporific, so it helps you go to sleep. It's the latex in it. You all heard, you know, um, Beatrix Potter, you know, old Peter Rabbit, and he's always eating lettuces and then falling asleep in Farmer McGregor's garden. It's because he's eating all the lettuces and they make you really sleepy. Even your communal, <coughs> common, like, iceberg lettuce has got soporific properties to it. But in the, our ones that we use from the supermarket, it's all, most of it's been bred out because they're not so bitter, but it's that bitter component that you get in lettuces. Now, Lactuca verosa is actually a really common plant, certainly in southern England, on waste grounds. It's all over the place. It's, yeah. it's so common. It's Railway lines. I mean, if you just walk along the road here, you see it growing out of cracks square, and things. You might see it growing out of a crack in the pavement. That what colour flowers does it have, or does it have? Colour yellowy coloured flowers. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a weedy little dandelion. Yeah. It has hard. The flowers are tiny though. Okay. On it, you can probably see if you look closely where the flower heads have died down. You know, mm. they're really very nondescript. But in its life, when it's healthy, it's really fleshy. It's a very fleshy plant, fleshy leaved plant. Um, rose. Hopefully, it's a dog rose. Yeah, Rosa Canina. This is good. Get in there. Um, now, it's the rose hips that we use. Um, is that Melissa Fischinalis? Lamiaceae. Lamiaceae family is really large, but as far as the actual mints are concerned, as in your apple mint, your peppermint, your spearmint, your calamint, your... I don't know, there's hundreds of them. They can all, they're all refrigerants, so they can all be used to cool areas down. Um, and they can also be used as culminatives in the gut, but the one that we use officially as herbalist is mentha piperita, also known as mentha pip, which, are, which is our bog standard peppermint.